People talk about devotion, but without gratitude, there can be no devotion. And what is that devotion? It is the purest form of love. But without gratitude, there is nothing. There is nothing. To be able to be thankful for what this knowledge is all about, to be able to be thankful for what you have been shown. Do you have the courage to put aside those concepts and look at what you have been shown for what it is worth? Or do you always measure? Do you always carry a scale with you? Is it heavier or is it lighter? Is it heavier? Is it lighter? Is it heavier? Is it lighter? You want the best value for your money, right? You've got the best value for everything you have ever done. It's called life. It's the most precious thing that there is. And do you accept it? Or do you look for imperfection? I'm not offering you any kind of medicine. I'm offering you a mirror because I want you to see what you have is so incredibly beautiful. It's so incredibly precious. And to have accepted that means you accepted the gift. You accepted the gift. But what you need to do is you need to be very familiar with the part of you. As you are familiar with the part of you that is not going to be around, you need to be as familiar with the part that is going to be around. And the only challenge here is not to accept or understand that divine through your concepts, but to understand that divine through experience. The addiction to this drug called concepts is amazing. Any chance given, people jump on it. And it shouldn't be like that. There is a divine, and that divine can be experienced. And that divine should be experienced in this lifetime and thoroughly enjoyed as you enjoy cake, ice cream, samosa, jalebi, beautiful parks. Rivers, beaches, to enjoy the divine that is within.